Hey, Mike Swatch here. I want to give a stock market update uh, as we enter the month of August uh, because there's some stuff going on in the market now. And there's five stocks in particular inside the NASDAQ 100 that I think are going to really run into big trouble here. Of course, the NASDAQ uh, has been going up for the past couple years. But in January, there was a hit that it took. In March, another hit got taken. And now it's starting to get a little bit wobbly again. But inside the NASDAQ 100, uh, there's some stocks in big trouble. Of course, last week, uh, Facebook made headlines by falling over 20%. In a single day, losing a hundred billion dollars in market cap in a single day. Uh, that's a record loss of market cap ever uh, for stock the U.S. stock market. Uh, but I call this a teardrop stock pattern because anyone who has bought it in the past ninety days is now sitting on a loss and happened suddenly because this stock was going straight up. Uh, there seemingly was no warning sign when you use charts and technical analysis. Sometimes there are warning signs, but not in this case. So I'm going to show you uh, warning signs in, in a minute. But another stock I think we need to worry about is Tesla. Uh, the company has had problems, of course, in making news all sorts of place. A lot of skepticism, and I'm one of the skeptics, that this company is ever going to turn a profit. Musk made promises that it would uh, by the end of the year, and therefore he claimed he wouldn't have to raise money, but it's simply unbelievable. And investigative reporters have been in investigating uh, what's going on in his factories, and it really seems unlikely. But regardless, support is now at 290, and there was a pop up to 370, and we've got to watch that 290 level uh, in August because we break it, and this thing's going to go back down to the April lows. And if you go down that far, uh, it's going to be clear that this is going to turn into a real disaster. Now, let's talk about warning signs. Intel also here had a teardrop, a stock drop on Friday uh, last week, in fact, but there are warning signs. And those warning signs were two, and specifically, uh, if you look below at the bottom of this chart, you'll see two indicators. The first is a relative strength indicator comparing the price action of Intel to the price action of S&P 500. When this indicator goes up, it means that the stock is outperforming S&P 500. When the indicator is going down, it means it's lagging. Intel has been lagging the S&P 500 since June, uh, which when stocks lag the broad market averages, they are become uh, very vulnerable to having a big pullback. The stock market weren't a pullback at all. Such stocks tend to lead on the downside. But this is a warning indicator, and the warning uh, was a serious one. But a second warning indicator also developed with on-bounce volume, which is an accumulation and distribution indicator. Uh, when there's an update in the stock market, uh, this indicator uh, is running creates a running uh, tally of updates with the volume on those days and subtracts that with the volume on the down days. So uh, when there's greater volume on down days, this indicator goes down and it's a sign of distribution. Intel is doing that going into the Friday dump. Uh, so two powerful warning signs uh, were going on of Intel and the result was a very vicious and nasty uh, dump. Now, this also happened uh, with Vistion Corporation, uh, another stock that had weak relative strength. The relative strength indicator did not go up as the stock market went up, even though this stock appeared to be okay because it got near the 52-week high at the beginning of July, but then it started to fade out very quickly, even as the NASDAQ made a new high, and then it collapsed. Uh, over the past couple of weeks, an on-bounce volume has completely disintegrated. So this is a very troubling stock that is very likely to continue lower for the rest of the year. Now, I like to bet against stocks, uh, and you can do that by using put options or through short selling. And over the past few weeks, I've been doing that, shorting individual stocks um, in my private trading group the Power Investor Service. But to do that, I use a dead cat bounce trading pattern, and right now Starbucks is lined up. So Starbucks, 
since April has had horrible relative strength and that brought a July collapse. On balance volume also has been trending down since January. Warning of distribution and it came with a actually a, a June collapse. Uh, and But in July, the collapse in June was so big, so sizable, that some sort of bounce was going to happen because uh, nothing goes straight down forever. And there are people that shorted the stock in the spring who then get out of their positions. That's That creates buying and, and helps a bounce happen. And now it's bounced. But this bounce is likely to fade out and, and resume with a new downtrend by the end of August. Uh, there's more details about this dead cat bounce pattern. For instance, I like to use the stochastics indicator above uh, and it's overbought right now and get a move back up to the moving averages uh, to complete the pattern. But these are the type of situations I'm now watching very closely for trades in the financial markets uh, for the month of August. And if you're not in the Power Investor Service, um, click below and I've got an entire course on betting against stocks, shorting stocks, because the thing is, um, stocks uh, tend to go down uh, faster than they go up. Uh, it can take uh, six months to 12 months for Facebook to go up 20%, but it went down over 20% in a single day. And that creates explosive returns with put options and fast returns for short selling. Uh, so there's opportunities to make money in this market. I know uh, very few people talk about betting against stocks. Uh, no one, very few people even want to hear about it, and that's why uh, you'll almost never hear about such trading ideas on CNBC. But uh, I, I do it. I short. Uh, not with all my money. I kind of operate as a hedge fund. I got lots of long positions too. And I think of that as pair trading. And this is the moment where that kind of trading patterns and setups and money management strategies is the way to go going forward for the rest of this year.